Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Echo 9.6 Let's play So In the previous world I managed to crash it in a very strange way I was unable to interact with any vehicles Because I wanted to test some special ones So this here is our normal truck Which we are kind of used to And here is the truck that is still in development it looks much better. Like I'm sure that uh, many who have watched my videos before saw like one of the mods for trailer truck, but it didn't look even half as good as this one. So I really like this one. But yeah, it pretty much works like regular truck. The only difference is that you actually have the trailer work properly it's, it's a lot of fun they yeah, are made this small space for driving stuff around and so on that's for testing and i will test a lot more stuff later and i can see that the text is fixed to the main truck <laughs> not not to the actual trailer which I hope will be fixed in the future as well, because as I said, it's not even officially available vehicle. Yeah. So if I check the trailer truck stuff, it does know its vehicle, which is good. But when we go to vehicles, it doesn't show up in this list because well, it's not officially available but yeah it looks quite nice and yeah you can set the text and everything yeah when we're outside yeah the text is still it's it's interesting and yeah compared to regular truck which just moves like this let's see if there is any collision no collision because of the text that's good but the trailer itself is supposed to have collision i guess so. The real collision still works, which is excellent. Nice. So the other step I did was to put out both the store and uh, I mean the shop cards and the regular cards. So we can see how they look and feel when used in third person. So this is like the regular card when we use it. It's kind of okay. And yeah, I get sometimes there is, you should be closer to interact, which is so strange. So let's close this door. And try to pull that one as well. And yeah, the sound effects and everything is the same. I mean, it literally is the same item, just a lot more on top of it. So yeah. And at the moment, because I haven't done the tutorial, I don't have any food issues or anything. So. And now I get error that the seat is occupied, which is, again, very strange. I did it take like the fuel out of it when I was taking it up? Which... Ah, it's because I probably just clicked the button before. But yeah, the seat is occupied, error. It's strange. Is it because I just have the third person? Let's test it. So now I'm in first person. Let's move around. Then we leave. No, still. The seat is occupied. But nevertheless, I will open it up again. Then we cannot pick it up. Yeah, you can have a lot of icons of foods and stuff. Of course, we don't really have any wood goods in this store but it's kind of unique style and yeah regular card of course doesn't have the options to enable disable or all that so but regular wood card has the text part so you can put whatever you want in the text whilst the store has no such option as you can see there's just a store storage credit authorization and status it would be probably nice to have like this sign here 
for like your personal texts. For example, you can say, look, this is this store or that store. At the moment, you need extra sign for that. Or even like this part on the top. It would be very, very good to have text part there. Where people like, let's say you have quite big like market area. There are many cards like this. And then you have the shop names on top. Easy to recognize. Yeah, I think I might actually make some type of marketplace so we can kind of take a look on that. So yeah, I will be back in a second. So now I have set up a small like marketplace. So I try to put like some behind each other. Like how however people might park them. This bit longer gap. Then two facing each other. So of course this place means that you can't really go through and it's a lot of a little bit intrusive in some ways. And also option when you put them back to back really close. Uh, it doesn't look really natural if you put so close two of them. But yeah, it kind of gives one wipe and then just randomly placing few of them. Like you always know that some some people will be kind of reckless, so they will leave at random positions. So I did that as well. There was a little bit clipping when like turning and stuff, but I think it's kind of okay. But yeah, I really want those signs to be available because then it's much easier to recognize. You come into the big market and it's like, which store is which? Like, what do they have really for sale? So this is kind of one of the things that I'm not really happy with. So I hope they will add it in the future. But otherwise, it seems all good. But yeah. And let's let's make some normal store as well, so we can compare it how it looks like. I'll be right back. Now I have made two stores, and yeah, the one thing which is kind of special with them, you always can put the signs on top of it. It looks a bit more realistic. Yeah, you have those nice two stores set apart and. You come close and you can easily say, okay, this is store one, this is store two. Like people can easily decorate how they want it to look like. But of course, with those cards at the moment, not. And yeah, so maybe we can even in the future have some rental system where like you can pretty much just rent the shop and then sell your stuff in there. It's something that it depends on the server and how people really plan everything but yeah it could look nice when you have like row of like stores physical stores and then space for the shop cards in front so you can have a lot of like selling available because like in real life some of the markets they look kind of the same they have both the buildings and some regular like not really cards but like kind of the stalls in the middle of the area at least in in my home country it is like that in japan honestly i haven't been to markets but as much as i know like fish markets they they are kind of mixture of those as well so but yeah it's kind of like one of the style to, how to make stuff it's yeah, interesting to see what the things can do so i will now test around with some other items and and i'll be right back I now tested out a few of the commands like building a house, which is very interesting uh, command that you can find in the game. And build house for some reason means build four big cubes with one item in each. So for example, the first one is wooden latrine, which literally has the wooden latrine inside. Of course, it's wrong way, so. I mean, normally when people have a toilet, they want to see the door, not have the back towards the door. So it's kind of strange. Then wooden fabric bed. It kind of makes sense. And this is the right way, but 
because normally I would put it against the door and the door layout is also very strange and it means that the middle part is not arranged properly then on the back sides it will put a bookshelf one the bookshelf again is opposite way than you would expect I want to see from the door but not in here and the last one the last room is for salt baskets this kind of like kitchen style so it literally is one salt basket so yeah I mean it's something that you can easily develop into proper house but yeah it's very strange how it may look like yeah I definitely don't like this window and the other command I ran was uh, uh, for the sewer village so it has the sewer system installed so there's a lot of piping underneath the ground you can see that the copper one is the wastewater and the steel one is the clean water so we have mechanical pumps that use the wind energy in this corner they pump the water out of some custom water area I mean I should have water underneath anyway so kind of the same and then like some some different things that will use the water like this laboratory that I have never really used this one I need to build a room to make it properly work but yeah so this is where you can craft a lot of stuff like co2 and ethanol and all the oils and stuff uh, definitely something that I would like to try out in the future. It's really advanced. And yeah, so. What is this one? Oil refinery. It, it, it changed the look. And I remember it slightly differently. Maybe it did change, not sure. I haven't played with it for like quite a long time and of course the waste filter and electrical power by the solar energy so some of the things that are kind of fun to play around and see how they really work yeah and of course with that it gave me a lot of skills which I'm not sure what to do with I just don't know why it wants to give skills. Ah. Finish the tutorial or skip it. I mean, I can't even see it, so. I have no idea what it's talking about. Yeah, I, I don't see any tutorial buttons, so. I need to find out how to get rid of all that. So yeah, it's some of the tests I have done today. I might start looking to build like proper houses and stuff as well. And yeah, before we do anything else, we can, of course, the trades will show what I'm selling in the test store. <laughs> I was just curious to look what items we have available in overall. There's no real sorting or anything, so make it big so we can see the advanced combustion engine I think the icon has changed a bit I didn't think it looked slightly different before I might be wrong like with everything what other items are there like boiler is kind of the same way too many items the so regular combustion engine I kind of remember. So now we have. I thought we had only one. Now we have two of them. It's actually very interesting. Yeah, I only remember this one, but yeah, now these two different styles. And the regular copper wiring. Ethanol. A lot of different things, food items. 
fish and chips is quite nicely packaged. Fried vegetables. So it's pretty much just the bag itself, I guess. Like when you do some research, it might have like a note that it needs fried vegetables. So it literally uses this as the as the tag. So like for example, fried tomatoes to go either under the fried vegetables, and then this is the tag itself. Okay, it's interesting to see it in this area. Better colloids, grass seeds. It's actually interesting because you can't really make it anyway. So it's one of those few items that is only for developers or like for testing. And I think there were some other seeds as well. Like last season, uh, Park was looking for those seeds and they were not really available. Infused oil, which is regular item. Altodex string. No idea what the even is. But yeah, it's kind of new item. No use. So maybe in the future there is more use for those random items as well. Loose and spray seeds. I never even knew about this seed, but it's something that is inside. Curtains, I think the visual has changed a little bit. At least it feels like it. Portable steam engine. Maybe it's changed a little bit as well. What else? Radio that I think looked always kind of like this. Substrate. I think it's the same. So this is the new item, the spoiled food. So I think that the food can spoil. Which is very good. But then it will look like something similar. Of course, it's currently very pixelated. So we'll see how it looks like in the end. It might change. It might not. Yeah, food that has spoiled beyond the point of being suitable for human consumption. It can still be used for compost. So in real life, it's the same. Like when the food goes bad and you live in an area where you can make your own compost, then you can use spoiled food there. Yeah, some of the pizzas, seagrass seeds, which cannot be ob obtained in any way. I can't even read the names, they're so complex. But yeah, no use yet. So I hope to find something for those as well. There's some, some new seeds. I didn't even know this plant, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of stuff you can find. So this type of curtain, the wool curtain, I think the icon looked the same. Maybe they were actually this. I mean, I used it, was it season 15 or 16? Yeah, quite a while ago. And then, of course, some of the upgrades. Don't really notice much change on those. And all the stuff you can learn composts, tools. A lot of furniture items, quite long list of those. I think the bellow box was changed before, like maybe a 9.5. But yeah, it used to be very different in, in its looks, the beginning of the version 9. But now it looks much better, it doesn't really give too many strange vibes. What else is interesting here? The currency exchange I have I haven't really used at all. It could be fun to test out one day. And computer lab. I think this icon also has changed because it used to have like a lot of screens and now it has just one screen and keyboard. 
definitely it has changed. Yeah. This shop shine and sign would be quite nice to have. Yeah. Refrigerator is something we can test out in later. I will definitely give it a try. Arch hanging stone sign, yeah. Now the home bridge has some use. The other new items hidden the steam engine and of course our new shop cards is total new item. Good to see. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And yeah, maybe in the future there will be some use for the washing machine as well. Like your outfit will degrade or something. Steel square fixture. It might have been in before, but I never really noticed. I didn't play around with those special lights. I mean, this one I have seen a lot. And I've used a lot of those regular steel ceiling lights. I can't remember using that ever. And yeah, the search lights, they could be quite fun as well. I have to test them out. But yeah, quite a few new items. The steel mine sign. A plain sign. I remember the long steel sign was kind of in use a lot. Government office icon has changed as well. Yeah, there are probably many icons that I passed through not noticing how much they have changed over time. But yeah, maybe you did. And if you did, it's good. You probably know what the future holds. An island foot on couch. Okay. I think this one was already in 9.5 as well. So just never tested it out in this way. But yeah, I will... I think I will leave this video right here. So I will give some more tries for different things. And yeah, I know that there are many complaints about the night being so dark in the game. It literally is too dark to see anything, so... I, I will just wait for the moon. Yeah, so much brighter. And yeah, I think someone did the test that they put the brightness to max. And nighttime wasn't affected at all, but daytime had significant difference so they happily as i'm just testing around i can change the time of day and it looks as it does so yeah i will leave this video here and in the next one maybe we can look more of the food and how the how the new fridges will really work so yeah, until then see you